Do you have manager meetings? And I'm not talking about passing in the hallway and having a quick conversation. Truly a sit down meeting to make sure you move the company forward. If you're not, I'm going to tell you why it's so important and how you put one together. Hello, this is David Scott Peters with TheRestaurantExpert.com and I've been there, done that. I'm full of words. If you haven't noticed by now, if you follow my YouTube channel, been to my workshops, seminars, or been on a coaching call with me, you know I've got a lot of words. To a point that I could take a one hour meeting and I could easily make it three because we'd get off on one new topic, a new topic, a new topic, and the meeting would last forever. Well, I learned that behavior from one of the owners I worked for who was a great communicator, but unfortunately a great communicator. And you got to a point where you got about two hours into a meeting and thought, man, when is this thing going to ever end? How about we avoid that? How about we respect people's time and we get things done? And I mean, sit down meetings that things get done. I'm going to show you how we can make sure you can run an efficient meeting. Here are seven steps. Number one, you got to have proper planning. It means before your manager meeting, let's say you're going to have a manager meeting on Tuesdays at four o'clock. Wednesdays, I don't care the day, but Tuesday, it's called Tuesday, four o'clock. That means your management team, if they want to talk about something in the meeting, they've got to get you that, well, on Friday, Saturday at the latest, which means it allows you, whoever's running the meeting, the opportunity to put together an agenda. What are we going to cover? So if you want it tabled, it's got to be on the agenda. You want to ensure attendance. Make sure everybody understands a manager meeting is what? Mandatory. But that must mean that you may from time to time have to move your manager meeting one day, one way or another that, you know, you don't have the odd man out who always comes in on their day off. Been that person, not a lot of fun. Collect the data in advance. So if you've got something on the agenda, Make sure you get your numbers, whether it's your prime cost targets, it's your way sheets, your Kyoto reports, it's your marketing materials. Have everything ready so that when we hand out the agenda, everybody has all the materials necessary to be successful in that one hour meeting. Stay on track. Here's the deal. No manager meeting should be more than 60 to 90 minutes long. Anything longer than 90 minutes, you're going to lose people's attention. So you need to stay on track and follow the agenda. To a point that somebody throws out a, a new employee issue and say, we need to talk about this. You say, that's great. We're going to table it. We'll talk about it after the meeting. You have to stay on track. Facilitate and command. Here's the deal. If you're the owner or the general manager, I want you talking 20% of the time. I don't want you running the meeting saying, chef, this is your food cost. Uh, bar, bar manager, this is your poor cost. Hey, here, front of house manager, here is your labor cost. I don't want that. I mean, that's you just literally telling everybody. I want them to have all the systems in place that when I say, hey, chef, tell me about the kitchen. Well, our food cost came in at 28%. Our ideal cost is 25%. We're about one point higher than I expected. I looked at our key item report and noticed that, uh, well, we have a little bit of theft. Uh, we've locked down XYZ product and the way shoot looks pretty good. We've been on top of it, dot, dot, dot. See, they come to you with information. Stop chasing them right for information and giving them information, have them chase you. Then from time to time you command what you want done. You delegate, you make sure that's what you want done and you share. Assign specific actions. All too often a manager meeting can be fantastic. Hey, we're going to have a, a Hawaiian luau as a promotion. Okay, everybody, the Hawaiian luau, we're going to work towards it. Yeah. Next week. Hey, who's been working on the Hawaiian luau? Uh, I thought they had it. I, I thought he had it. I thought she had it. You have to literally say, hey, Johnny, you're going to do this. Joanne, you've got this. And you set dates, deadlines, benchmarks. You follow that process because we want to delegate properly and ensure that it gets done. And last but not least, notes, notes, notes. Somebody on the team has to take notes. Type them up and hand them out afterwards so that we keep everybody focused on moving forward. Look, you want to have a great manager meeting, you need to follow these steps because communicating, walking through the halls of your, of, of your business in between server alley, the kitchen and the, the front of the house, that is not communication. We have a sit down one hour to an hour and a half long 
with an agenda, we stick to that agenda, we assign tasks, and we make sure we stay on task so that next week we can measure. That which we measure improves. Now let me ask you a question. How often do you have manager meetings? Let me know in the comments section below and tell me what you do in a manager meeting to make them successful. And make sure you subscribe to this channel because on a weekly basis, I'm going to share with you tips just like this so you want to be here. But before you go, I want to tell you about a free report I want to give you, the 10 lessons I've learned that any independent restaurant owner or manager must know if you want to get your life back, make more money, have managers know what their job is. This information that I provide you in this special report, this free report, can be life-changing. All you need to do is right now, the link below, click on it and opt in and I'll send you that free report. And again, make sure you subscribe to my channel because on a weekly basis, I've got videos like this. Tune in next week when I talk about managing your manager pushback. You want to make change, but they say no, they don't want to do it. That's got to stop.